If you're already into coding, you probably already know a lot about the old and established languages like Java, C or C++. I don't want to bore you, so I'll talk about something a little bit different. So I'll talk about the languages that have a more modern design like Zig, Rust, Kotlin and Carbon. Also, if it is worth learning them. First though, I want to talk about the pros and cons of learning these languages, as this is universal mostly. So for the pros, you generally have a better developer experience. You hit your bets by learning something more modern and it makes you more flexible as a programmer. You have a better developer experience because it just has more modern features and a lot of these features were just aimed at making the experience of the developer much better. And for the cons, it generally has less established libraries or frameworks with the exception of Kotlin and Carbon, but this is because they built on top of already existing languages. And modern languages generally have less job openings, and older languages tend to be more stable in terms of development of the language. And I'll start off with Zig. Zig is meant to be an alternative to C. From my experience with Zig, it feels way different than C. I will say it feels a lot more like Rust. What makes Zig unique is that it promises to have no hidden control flow. This means that the only time a function is called is if you, the programmer, call it. This is in contrast to something like C++, where you can overload operators. It has a lot of nice features, like the defer statement, which simply places a statement at the end of scope. Zig has a lot of features in common with Rust, like optional types and forced error checking. It also has good interop with C. And for the last thing, this is what they call the Zen of the Zig project. So Kotlin. Kotlin is a successor to Java. It's mainly used for mobile apps, and if you're a masochist, you can compile it to JavaScript or Java, through the compiling bytecode. You could also work with Kotlin by itself. From what I've gotten from trying it, Kotlin is Java, with more modern syntax and with some of Java's flaws fixed. Things like null safety and coroutines. It's also a bit more beginner friendly. I would overall recommend learning Kotlin if you are a Java developer or are a mobile dev. It's fairly easy to learn if you started off on Java. I would say it will take you about a month max. Rust is similar to Zig in that it's a safer alternative to C. It presents a lot of safeguards for the developer. I think a lot of C++ developers don't like it for that reason. They feel slow writing in the language. Other than that, it has a really good package manager called Cargo and the build process overall is extremely smooth. Granted, the compilation takes like a year. I would recommend learning Rust mostly if you want to code things like embedded systems. Carbon is a project originally created by a Google engineer. It's in a similar state to Zig. It's supposed to be a superset of C++, which itself was a superset of C. It has a whole agenda on what it wishes to accomplish, which basically just boils down to it being safer and easier to learn. It's planned to be released experimentally next year, and I would say this is probably mostly interesting for C++ programmers. I don't think Java developers necessarily need to care. That's it. I hope you got something from this video.